Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Uh, something a little different. Uh, got cap, uh, Olympic trap shrug bar, um, squat bar is what I usually call them uh, for deadlift, things like that. Uh, lift that up for you. So I will uh, also have some pictures on there. It's a little hard to see in the box and exactly what's going on. Um, so I just ordered this off Amazon. Um, it's a lot easier to do your, well, squats. I know you are losing, the, if the bar's on the back, you've got a balance thing going on and you are going to lose that uh, when doing squats. But uh, as you get older, this is actually great. Ever since I saw American Sniper movie and uh, the actor playing Chris Kyle in that was using one of these, I was like, I've got to get, where, where do you even find one of those? So, all these years since that's been out, and now that I'm back into lifting again and exercising, I was like, I have to get one of those. I can't do my deadlifts, uh, squats and stuff very easily. Quick story on that is I have long legs versus my upper body. One of those goofy things that I have to move the seat back in every vehicle that... I drive some to the point a lot of people get in there like good lord you have long legs I'm not that tall I'm just six foot uh, but when I'm sitting down driving I'm looking over at the neck of the person beside me <laughs> it's uh it's one of those like yeah I have a short upper body and long legs uh, so when you're trying to do deadlift uh, hang clean hang, hang clean do I ever say that right uh, jerking clean the Trying to get it over my knees and the balance and everything's just always been off. Uh, doing squats, I like to do squats. I think that's great for your legs. Uh, biggest issue is is my uh, space for my little weight room. You know, when people are like, oh, God, he's got a weight room. Uh, yeah, it's a screened-in porch um, that we didn't use for anything, so I threw all my weight equipment in there. And now it's kind of organized, and people are like, that's pretty darn cool. Well, it's, it's not super nice or anything like that. Uh, concrete floor and some pictures on the walls that's basically it uh, but this would be just handy um, and it's better for your back your balance the weight is going to be centered hanging from your arms uh, so supposed to be a big help so I ordered this thought I do it unboxing um, show you guys this because I highly recommend it the uh, I did go to the gym with my son um, as his guest so I wouldn't have to pay because I'm a tightwad and uh, they had one. Here, they had one there, and I tried it out. And I, you know, obviously the awesome machines that they have there, you know, that cost ten grand each, uh, would be amazing to have in you know a home gym if you were a rich guy. Uh, but this takes place a little bit more work. I have to buy some more plates at some point because I'm gonna I'm gonna have to move plates all the time. Uh, but this thing I think would be pretty darn awesome. So we're gonna get in here. And really, there shouldn't be any problems as far as nothing should be able to be busted in something like this. It's, you know, solid metal. Should be strong enough that there is no problems. So, it didn't, it's got some foam in here, keep it from moving around a little bit, but it, uh, I've got to put this thing together. Yeah, I think it's a pretty small box. It's only two foot by foot and a half, maybe two and a half foot by a foot and a half. And uh, so you got to put this whole thing together because it's obviously got to be big enough to go around you. And I like that, you know, it's got the stand. So this gives you an idea. Your, your hands are up here. And uh, I'll have to get some more rubber mats probably, but... You know, it holds, the question is whether it holds the 45s. That I actually don't know if this one will hold 45s without them touching the ground. Because that kind of sucks if you're going to have to lift it every time, put the 45 on. But uh, that is actually very heavy compared to what I thought it would be. Uh, so, I mean, they packaged it well. There's, I think they packaged it better than my fishing rods that I got earlier on. Uh, so I'm going to have to play around, they've got 
all of this. And last one, my set of instructions. There's the, this is Olympic, so this is for your big weights, not your little one inch hole, this is the full two. So it does look like I'm gonna be busy here putting this together. So uh, I'm gonna get this thing put together and then show you guys the finished result. nice how they package that you know condense it down it's smart uh, well you got to put it together all the bolts in the package instructions everything were all supposed to be the same size and I've got my two that were quarter inch really quarter inch too long or longer than any other bolt and other ones that are about eighth of an inch but uh, and I thought well I could move them over to middle where it's a little you know, they've got an eighth inch plate steel. So that would draw those out, but um, it it's an odd number. It's not even the four, those four particular bolts. But um, so that was a little goofy, you know, stuff happens. I'm sure this is, you know, made in China somewhere. Not really sure. Well, I don't know. It says Houston, Texas on that. Oh, there it is. Made in China. Uh, so yeah, this, uh, this will work. This is actually really strong, well built. Uh, I mean, the, the welds are ugly, but the welds are solid welds. They're not uh, spatter and nasty. They're just, you know, they're not beautiful TIG welds. Uh, I'm a particular person about welds. I like to, they may be ugly, like whenever I weld, my welds may be ugly, um, but they're very solid, strong, and then I make mine to where if I am going to screw up, it's going to err on the side of being stronger and you grind and smooth them down. But uh, this this looks good. Um, no problems here. I think the plates will go just slide on and not touch the ground. Uh, it's just high enough. You know, obviously they should have engineered that for that reason. But, you know, you stay in the middle and now you've got everything bounced. So, uh I believe that was CAP cap. Uh, that was Amazon that I got that off of. Uh, 69, 95 or something like that. Very stout, will work great. Thank you guys for watching. Like and subscribe if you wanna see more.